The three main things you need to learn first to become a web developer are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Every website on the internet is built using these three languages. JavaScript is a programming langu language and the other two another type of language. This should be the first step in your career. Tools and technologies are coming out all the time and they are constantly changing. And yes, it's essential to learn the latest and newer tech, but we need to know the basics first. HTML defines the structure of the website. It's a document that displays the content. We use CSS to change the appearance and the layout of the page. We can make the image round, we can change the colors of different layers, we can change how the text looks like. So basically, CSS is all about how the page looks like. Then we use JavaScript for everything interactive. Add functionality to the website and decide what should happen when we're clicking this button, for example. Combining these three things, we convert the beautiful designs provided by the design team into code that can be read by browsers, showing you a 100% functional website. Let me give you an analogy to completely understand how these three things come together. We can think about them as our human body. What we have first is the skeleton. This is the HTML. They are the bones of the web. First, we have our head. Then, connected to this, we have our spine. If we go down, we have one arm, then another arm, then our legs. All is well connected and structured. Great, but this is not enough. Our skeleton cannot move or think or do anything. So we need JavaScript, which is our brain. JavaScript is the logic, is what makes us function, is what makes us clever. JavaScript tells HTML what to do. So we write code in a way that we say, Hey body, hey HTML, I want you to lift my arm. I want you to press this button. I want you to go to m and supermarket and buy me Percy Pig Sweets. And our body will do as JavaScript tells it to. So what do we have so far? First, we have the skeleton and the brain, which is still not enough. To be a socially acceptable human being, we need to have skin, eyes, hair, and we should also have some clothes. This is where CSS comes in. With CSS, we can create the aesthetic appearance of that person. This gives the look and feel that visually distinguish one application from another. Once you master this, then you can start learning React, Next, TypeScript, Node, GraphQL. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for more honest advice or experience as a software engineer. Thank you for watching.